<laughs> uh, so I got I got a double topic for it. We can go either which path. We got uh, option A, option B. Option A, what's the brokest thing you ever did or been through? Option B is um, financial advice for the listeners. Best financial advice. So am I doing both or is it just Which one you want to do first? So the brokest thing I ever did. Or been through. Or, I mean, no, I had some time, bro. Like, <laughs> I, like I had more of them times than I've had up times. Let's like, I can't. It. But I, I, would, I, would, I used to go on um, sneak into movie dates. <laughs> 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 Wait, so sneak in like you didn't pay for the first one? Or we didn't pay one? for nothing, oh, nigga. Yes. I'm talking about literally we go to Wawa, get my snacks. You okay. know, you know how we carry load it. up, yeah. Load up on my snacks, and um, I would. It was the same routine every time. Mm -hmm. So I knew the door was broke. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the door was broke, so we would be walking like we about to walk in to pay, and. I would just act like I discovered, like on the habit, like yo, the dog. Ah. I like I just found out in that ah. moment, and I look at her like, what, what, you, what you want to do? Like, <laughs> and like destiny. What you think? Come on, we gonna just do it real. Come on. <laughs> I did that shit every every week in 2014, the whole summer, <laughs> different dates. But it was a couple chicks that was like just thorough, and they just knew. So it's like, yo, you trying to go sneak in the movies? Uh. But for the new one, one time I tell y'all, uh, my brother had this new girlfriend, and she was like bougie. I don't know for whatever reason, this nigga always got like a bougie chick. <laughs> so we doing our routine, like we crammed up in the car, six deep. Three couples or whatever. We going to Wawa to get our routine. Just take our shit or whatever the case may be. And she just like, uh, y'all dirty, y'all stealing. So we had to try to make it sound. Stealing. We had to try to make it sound thorough. Like who who paid for stuff at Wawa? Like <laughs> you just not cool. Like but I just said all that to say it was like nah. Like it was them days where now nah, we really you know we we did what we had to do or whatever the case may be. So yeah, that probably was right with our broken thing. All right, yeah, that ain't nothing. Yeah, like I actually enjoy stealing from the movies. Like I just no, I do. I so it was fun. Right, yeah, fun. yeah. Like, I, I didn't say it wasn't enjoyable. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm just saying I'm with you. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Um, like I like I'm the person that I don't go to um, the market no more. I discover Instacart, and I actually care about convenience more than paying for groceries now, whatever. But my self checkout bandit, me. I oh, almost yeah. want it. Like, I mean, so, I I don't know more, but yeah, because yeah. I only because I just the uh, you know I just don't do it no more. But for sure, used to be. Yeah, I, I'm using my employee discount, hundred percent. Yeah, I enjoy doing that shit. Like even if it was just like. One thing, I'm leaving with something. I'm leaving like, with something. It, it was worth doing. Yeah, employee discount. Absolutely, <laughs> everywhere. Like Shoprite, Target, all that shit. Walmart. I'm taking so something. So what was the broken thing you did? Now, man. broken thing I did. I'm sorry. Before I get to that though, you stole but, from a chick. That's crazy. <laughs> um, but before I get to that, I want to say, uh, but the movie thing. I just stole the movie the other day. I caught the Niagara Special. I'm gonna pay for the first one. Oh, then I'm but I'm seeing the rest of this no, whole but day. Whatever. I would do. That's career the, highs the, five. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. I don't got much enough movie in me to see five. <laughs> like, I'd be burnt out at two. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. But um, I think, like, me and my friends would do that unapologetically. But to plan my dates. For sure, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. I respect it. But I was strategic, and I don't regret it. Absolutely. And I had some of my funniest times doing it. Mm -hmm. Burger thing I ever did I, that comes to mind is paying for uh, gas with change. Yeah, oh, I mean, that's not the, but it, that's, no, I've done that though. I would, you think that's the broken thing you've done? Paying for gas or change? Yeah, I mean, it was like, it was like, I was like 16 when I was doing it, but I was definitely going there with $5 worth of change and I all was that. 29. It's like, <laughs> I'm <joking. laughs> Oh, this was last week. <laughs> You Today got a, you ain't got a job. <laughs> Nigga no, said, let me get 47. 16, I, I he said, let me get 477 on four. <laughs> real quiet. <laughs> no, you tell me, yo. Three dollars, man. I, I just need to get home. I just need to get home. Should be happening. Yeah. So yeah. I, and my wife. Uh, yeah. So that, I, I think about that. Uh, how about some financial advice? What's something that you maybe in the past or now you think like some good financial game advice insight? What you got? I would say um, keep a cash flow. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter how much, I don't care if it's ten dollars a day. That's still three hundred a month. Keep a cash flow. You know what I mean? Uh, pay your bills on time. That's something that. Uh, I haven't mastered yet. I'm I'm a risk taker, so I um, I just be like I pay it when I pay it. But mm -hmm. that's something that I'm actively today working on. Like, just because I work better when I'm in front of my stuff anyway. You know what I mean? When I'm in front of three months in front, it's just more freedom. I could take more risk. Whatever can be. Even if you could do it, like I'm not saying like it's not even about not having it. It's just about just doing it when it's due mm -hmm. or doing it in advance or whatever the case may be. So my thing is paying in advance. I try to get three months out in front of everything or whatever. But um, if you could, it's just anything, just pay your bills on time. I, I I know that ain't like no advice to go get no money or none of that. But that's just something that's just responsible. Financial you know what I mean? Right? Like just pay your bills on time. Uh, because you think different when when you're not behind. I'm telling you, like you'll never know how much you think different when you got the freedom to be like, yo, I ain't gotta worry about this shit. It's three months versus having to be like, damn, what I'm gonna do with this check? I gotta do that. Because if you got 90 days to figure some shit out, you might take three, four checks and invest. Mm -hmm. Now you got a, a a way to go, you know, start a, a side hustle or something. So pay it on time or pay it in advance. You know what I mean? As as far as in this level of advice, maybe I double back and give y'all some advice on how to make more money or something down the road. Mm -hmm. But as of right now in this moment, pay them bills on time and keep a cash flow. 
I respect that. And again, I think that's still important information and just a perspective because, you know, I grew up of a, you know, environment of understanding that, like, to not even pay bills in full. <laughs> like just like just to pay enough to keep the shit on, on. No, and, you, and you end up still being behind though. When yeah. and then you can have the money, but again, people just their priorities and decisions. So it's like I got the money, but instead of just paying the full, I'm gonna I pay can, the, I'm gonna I can pay the minimum and yeah. then go blow the rest. It's yeah. like you could. Just pay I was that full. guy. Yeah, 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 I was that guy at the club too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> How much is it to keep the payment installment? Right. One twenty-seven. <laughs> I'll be paying that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm super anal. Pause. I'm super anal paying bills and no whatever it is. It all right, relax, Ricky. Oh. Oh, you, you smart? All right, cool. Uh, really? All right, cool. <laughs> that was, it was in, in no conversation. That's a was real that word. ever a necessary plug, it's though? It's a real word. You see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> this is a rapper. He's good. <laughs> but, oh, like, no need to plug the anal into the conversation. <laughs> I can't understand why he did that. It's a real word. I understand, but it's like, what in what context is being ain't like? What does that mean? <laughs> what do you like, mean by now that? Now you have to dissect your philosophy. What do you mean by that? Read, read a book. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't just call, call the dictionary. <laughs> you like, can't just make a thing. It's not a good time to use that word <laughs> when you're talking about your anal. <laughs> anyway, I'm I I'm I'm serious. Heavy pause. Obsessive. That's a reset, man. Heavy I'm pause. obsessive with paying my bills and full. I don't care if it, I have nothing till the next check. I don't care. Just pay it all. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Um. So I, I believe in it, and I feel it's come. I had to learn. I learned it obsessively, but oh yeah, I don't want to be behind forever. Now I'm gonna go this super extreme. I don't give a fuck what happens. I don't care if I got a dollar. Mm -hmm. Just pay it all. I, I think fuck. I'm getting to that point like yeah. now. That's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like um just like growing and just realizing like the the freedom mm -hmm. to. To, to be able to think out ahead, to be able to plan a trip and not have to plan around your bills. Mm -hmm. So I respect that approach. And um, I feel like the reason I didn't have that approach for majority of my life is because I never had a stable income. Mm -hmm. I was always a hustler, entrepreneur. So it's kind of a challenge when you don't have stable business coming in mm -hmm. to be able to make stable plans. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize how much of a challenge it was until I started to take contracts that were a little more stable. Mm -hmm. And also this was like to have a job because if I know that I got this contract for six months and this contract for six months and this contract for six months, I know that I can plan with this money because now granted sometimes people don't always pay but mm -hmm. for the most part you know they do like mm -hmm. if you're dealing with people that got integrity and doing good business so that's what made me realize like damn like instead of having to hustle and bustle for your next you know because it's like having to eat what you kill that's always been my philosophy and my mindset but um I just had somebody say to me the other day, like, you don't want to live like that. You don't want to have to eat what you kill. And it, when she said, I'm just like, you know what? You're right. Like, what your food brought to you sometimes? No, it's just like, just knowing that it's food there. Like, just knowing you got food in storage. Like, you want to go out and hunt. The hunting should be for fun. It shouldn't be for survival. And it's like, you know, when you eating what you kill with everything you do, it's just you constantly in survival. You just don't know what you like. Motherfucker, like, what's for dinner? I don't know. Whatever I catch today. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, I just want to more so live and be able to say, nah, you know what? Today we're having steak. <laughs> and tomorrow we're having salmon. And I have that anyway, but it's like I got to go get it on the day. I want to know right. Friday what's for dinner. You right. know? Yeah. I would say some of my uh, advice is um, like kind of to your point about the cash flow is uh, try to make as much money as you can. Just baseline general. Yeah. yeah so that's, that's, that's what starts. But again, whatever the financial guru shit is, oh, dude, this dude, the FHA stack it here, Roth IRA, need more money. Bottom yeah. line. So that's with anything. Um, from there, I just think... Uh, I started treating my money like I'm um, like I'm paying myself, mm -hmm. and I feel like I start with like twenty percent off the top goes to savings slash investments whatever twenty percent no matter what how much I can pay it goes to that, and then bills and I always try to keep my walk around money so I mm -hmm. set the walk around money off top where that's what goes into one checking account mm -hmm. of just like let's just say you walk around two hundred three hundred four whatever it is whatever that goes in there rest goes into the stocks or savings or debt if you have some debt whatever and the rest goes to bills and keep repeating keep repeating that. and then you look up and you got yeah, but don't even worry about what's outside of your walk around money that money don't exist yeah. it's already into bills waiting to or waiting to be it's, account, it's bill accounted money. for yeah it's accounted for yeah. and the shit's already up for your savings it don't exist and all you have is the walk around money that's the only thing money exists and i think um that's a that, that's a good that's a good philosophy to operate off of um and just i think just getting more 